We want to kick this off, John. Without a doubt, we're going to be kicking it off on Foundation, the fan favorite, the pro player favorite map here in Gears of War 4. Let's hop on board to start with Explosive of Optic Gaming. We're going to take a look at the overhead map and show you guys what's going to hold go down. Franchise, of course, the anchor is going to grab that home hill. Two versus two fight. Solars versus Explosives. Down low to kick things off, please. The last time we seen this, it was, uh, it, was a, it was a race for the middle map between Solars and Summons. It looks like they're going to be holding off just, just, just uh, for a little bit. And we're going to see Summons actually break towards the middle. But here comes Explosives on the chase. Summons is going to come back. It's actually going to be Lava. And they can't really pick up these kills right here. And then they're going to get him. And here we go. Optic is actually going to get control of this neutral hill. And a huge play from the shot caller of Optic Gaming, the fan favorite to kick things off. Explosives goes massive with a double kill, revives his teammate. It's going to be Optic Gaming that comes out on top when the dust settles here, Blaze. No, it definitely will be. And so, like, once again, we saw right there, we saw Summons. He broke towards that middle to try to flank and help Lava in his initial fight. And then uh, Solars tried to, you know, flank behind him. But Explosives came and he just cut him off. And uh, it came right there where Optic just won that fight initially. Another big storyline here I want to touch on briefly, Blaze, is Kenny and Toy. Toy Soldier replaced by Kenny. Franchise really believes that was the best decision that was made for Team Envious at the time. Toy Soldier has performed very well since, but Kenny and Toy play very similarly. They're similar players, very fast-paced, wall-bounce heavy players. Kenny got the best of Toy on the opening. He killed him once, but Toy just took out Mental. Yeah, Toy's going to pick up a kill right there, and it's going to be a fight for the home hill. Toy's going to come in. He's going to pick up one. Can he get two? He's and it's going to be Kenny Bounce to. with a huge 1v1 over his nemesis, Toy Soldier. Wow. No, he, Toy did a great job right there. He knew his team needed a second heal, so he pushed across. He capped both home heals because uh, he, he went across to try to break that home and put some pressure. B is still in control of Envious right here. But here come Kenny. He did make it back across the map here, and he is contesting these guys. He's taking out one, but Toy is back on respawn, and he will clean up Kill Kenny right here. And Envious will take this lead here in uh, you know about 10 seconds or so. Yep. And so far it has been Kenny Bounce getting the – best of Toy Soldier in pure 1v1 shotgun fights, up 2-0 to zero in those 1v so far. On the far side, Mental, his teammate, will be picking up the low side hill here. Optic, 20-point lead in round number one. Yeah, Optic right here. You know, there are two caps set up, especially early on. You don't want to really push too much for this three cap on, on, on certain maps because the simple fact is that people have been 10 second respawns and we're, we're at 10 second respawns right now. So they're just being very, very patient and playing for time. But Mental picking up two kills right here and he's going to push forward. And this is the situation where they're actually going to play for this three cap because Mental is in a good, he's in a good position to get to their heal right away and he's going to be uncontested. But across the map is Envious fighting for Optic's home heal. And right here, we're just going to see Mental get this and try to secure this win. They're about 17 seconds away from victory. Yep, Ribs needs to win this 1v. Mental is having his way with Ribs so far. Of course, as I say that, Ribs is going to hit a brick and takes out Mental in the 1v. And Envious is going for the triple cap here. Can they do it? Oh Down 40. My God. Ribs decided to give up the A hill and to go for the C hill. But Solars is going huge. Lava is there as well. Toy Soldier and Ribs. Smart play by Ribs. Will it pay off here? Ribs hits the shot. Can he get the kill? Yes, he does. Can he get the double They're kill? They're getting points. They're getting points, John. Lava, can he hold off here? It's a 1v2, and he's going to have his teammates, but Toy is just making things happen right here. And Soto's going to get that kill. Envious was getting points that entire time, oh, but they just cannot finish that off. That would have been remarkable. It all came down to franchise against two players. Very tough to do. Envy almost does the miraculous and secures a triple cap domination, but Optic Gaming is able to shut it down. Ice in their veins, as always, particularly the one, the only mental of Optic Gaming. He is so calm, so collected at all times, ladies, and you saw that in round number one. No, we definitely did. So let's take a look at the strategy going into round number two. And we've seen a lot of teams, if they can get it, get the opportunity, they will block this welding and fountain's weapon respawn. And that's what we're going to see once again. They don't want teams to get the opportunity to, uh, you know, put double incense there and also put uh, double snipes there as well. So that's Envious's play right there because they know for a simple fact is that Optic will single-handedly just send maybe one guy there to just hold that B-Hill because he can just use incense to prevent them from capping it or they also don't want to get mental uh, snipe because we also know how nasty he is with that. Yep. Uh, overhead map's going to show you guys two down low for both teams. Toy Soldier playing the middle middle area of the map right now. On board with Summons. He has two kills so far. 30 seconds dead. 1v1 against Soto. Summons versus Soto. He's going to get hit with a brick, but he stays alive and Summons the wall bounce wow. from Gears War 3 showing wow. his movement already in this one. You know, <laughs> Summons right there. He got, he got that extra chunk off on him and uh, picking up those two kills right there. And so Solars needs to figure out a way to stop them. Envious needs to use their front spine to prevent him from making it to the middle of the map. Or they just need to get their team fire focused because he's single-handedly winning, winning optic these opening fights. 
Yep. That rip's able to stay alive right there, but he's not able to help his teammate Soto. Soto goes down to summons, and Optic Gaming is really able to extinguish the fire that Envious had lit in the losers bracket finals. A good showing, and there is Toy Soldier, summons, and Kenny B gonna get a double kill, the duo, and there you have it, Optic Gaming with the domination. And Optic making good use of those initial rounds right there. Okay. 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 They, oh, they, oh, they hot. Oh, even lava. They even hot. Even lava. I don't know if you guys heard that, but I, yeah, 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 yeah. They hot right now. <laughs> They're hot. This is this, this is real passion match. They want to end this right now. They definitely want to end it. So going into this weapon selection process, boom shot is here. So this is actually good because the last time we saw Envious play them, they stayed away from these heavy power weapons. They stayed away from the boom shots, the drop shots, and the frag grenades. They didn't want to. They didn't want to give them to Optic. You know, scared to lose these initial fights. So interesting decision right there, Blaze. By Envy, the opt to put a boom shot down. You hear Optic say, there "Let's get on board here with You're summons." Desperate. So yeah, there we go. On board here with summons, and watch how how he just blows past these guys. That smoke is gonna stun Solars, and he's gonna come. He's gonna up a hop around, and Lava actually made it in. And Summons is gonna be the boom pickup, but his teammate died in the middle. He needs to be aware of that. That's gonna be a double boom there by Summons. Can he get another double? He's gonna pick up three kills right there. Good job. Heads up play right there by Lava. No, Blaze. I always say two booms need to be needs to be two kills. Summons. Said no fallout. Two booms needs to be three kills. Huge play from Summons in a 3v5 to put Optic Gaming on top once again. And so good job there by Optic adjusting to, to, to where the weapons was placed and changing their strategy right there, uh, Justin, because the boom was put on the map. So on board here with Solars. And you know, right here, he just needs to be patient, wait for his teammates to get to him, and they need to come in here, at least break this B hill and fight for it. Mental's gonna take out franchise with the headshot on board with Solars now. What can he do against his former Optic Gaming squad? Fighting against Summons, the newcomer to Optic Gaming. Summons goes down, good cross comes in from Envy. And Optic, Envy is able to stay alive, but for how long? They didn't break B, they did not break B. There they go, finally get the break on B. Yeah, they're gonna get that right there. And Franchise just needs to back up. He can't take his 1v2 against Lava and Mental. Oh. But Explosives just went in B single-handedly and destroyed both of them. And he is going off. He single-handedly went in there and destroyed both of them. Oh and he, God, yo, he is lit. You guys need to understand that that was like the first interaction that both of them had in that pregame interview, and it's showing in his gameplay. He's fired up now. You know, I, I, I posed the question earlier, Blaze, who is going to step up into the moment right now? Emotions at an all-time high, and the answer is evident. Explosives is dominating. Let's take a look at the stats when we kick off this next round, but until then, let's see what weapon's going to be placed. It's going to be an incendiary grenade placed by Envious. We saw in a good opening from Envy, Blaze. They got two kills early on, but they gave summons the boom shot, so I want to see Envy play more for boom. Solar's being shut down right now. So bo bo both teams have been sending two guys middle two guys down a ramp and one guy to cap their home hill. So I guess Envious is saying, hey, if Lava breaks in and does the same thing that he did last time, we'll have the, Envy, we'll have the, uh, the flame grenades to at least drop on the hill with the boom shot to prevent that pickup. Solars is actually going to make it out first. He knows Kenny is there, but he's going to lose that fight. Kenny and Summons is making plays. Boom shots in the middle. Ribs is trapped between three Optic members, and he's going to go down. And Optic is going to get this boom shot. Also, flame grenades was not picked up, uh, if I believe. They should still be down there, and they're going to actually drop back here and cap this home, start to break Envious's home hill. Franchise does not know what's going on. He's not back up in time, and he's going to go down. It's going to be a domination. But hold up, Envious has something to say about that. And for you guys wondering what that red highlight is on your screen, that's actually the jump camera. So spectator mode, that's what you saw right there. If you highlight something, you can jump to them in spectator mode. It is a red highlight. It doesn't mean anything other than that. So you guys want to want to clarify that there. There you have it. Optic Gaming is on a rampage right now. Lava is like, what are these kids doing? They can't even contend. And that is so true right now, Blaze. The boys in blue down three to zero right now. And the green wall, I'm sure, is loving it in the chat. Optic Gaming showing that they are a pure powerhouse to be reckoned with here in Gears of War 4. This is real domination right here. It really Envious, is. Envious just came off foundation. They came off foundation and it was looking good. And they just had to translate that play style over to here, but it's just no match for Optic. They just cannot break through. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, you're right. Envious was looking great. They 7 2 revenge on this very map. And how do you go from pure domination to getting 3 0 early on here? Envious needs to get something going. And it has to start with the stars of their team, Toy Soldier and Solars. That's up on board of them, because I'm going to expect either one of those two, Toy or Solars, to go off. They're not playing for the home hill cap. They brought an extra guy in the middle for that crossfire to help them get towards mid-map. Toy's going to break through right here. He's going to pick up one kill, coming in to help his teammate. They get two. They're going to get boom shot control because of that. And they're going to actually send somebody late to go cap their home hill. But Toy lost boom Explosive. shot right there. Explosive is Explosive. trying to do something, but he's going to go down right there. But Envious will get control over this neutral hill. That's a huge play.
play by Explosive, and normally I would say smart decision by Toy Soldier to not shoot the boom shot and get the kill. But if you're playing against Explosive, you need to secure the kill by all means necessary. Don't worry about conserving that boom shot ammo because Explosive is a monster, and he made Toy Soldier pay there. Toy Soldier then had to wait 14 seconds to respawn. And that's, right. one, of the, that's one of the strategies that a lot of these top teams do. They won't cap their initial uh, home heal right off the jump of the map because the respawns get so high, they bring that guy to help it win the initial break fight. You know, uh, so they can get, get control of those power weapons and send somebody back later uh, to cap their home hill. And we're going to see Torque Bow in the hands of Mental, trying to get some of these long range Torque Bows across map here. We're going to have Optic only in control of one hill. Ambia is getting points, but they don't have too big of a lead here. Yep, not a massive lead, but it's still a great round by Ambia to start things off here. Let's see if they can hold this double cap, or let's see if Mental, the power weapon player himself, can use the Torque Bow to his advantage. Ambia's keep in mind, did decide to put this Torque Bow down. Which is going to allow Mental to make play. Here comes Ribs on his flank. But Ribs sees it, but he's getting trapped. But Ribs has help from, help of his own from his teammate. And he stays alive shot by Ribs. Beautiful shot by Ribs. Beautiful kill by Solars. And there you have it, Blaze. Envious is heating up. They're going to go for a triple cap. And just like that team, Envious, can they secure it? Yes, they do. No, the B hill was broken. And they're going to break that hill right there. But Explosives trying to hold up right here. Envy is looking for their first round win. They are up about 40 points. They're looking to play for the domination. And two seconds away, and they will get it, John. Yep. Good job by Envy. Toy Soldier starting to get, trying to get things started for Envious Blaze. And let me hear it. What are your thoughts? Down four to one, a good round from Envious. What do they need to do here going into round number six, the last round of this first half? Uh, they made a good play initially on that start uh, of the round. So, you know, Boomshot is actually looking right now like it wants to get replaced. Oh yeah, because you can, so keep in mind guys, in round six and in round 12 and 13, because all the weapons in the map have been placed, you can actually replace a weapon. So frags are gonna be there denying the boom shot from Envious, a smart defensive weapon placement from Optic Gaming. And now Envious will have to play a little bit more for that torque ball on the other side of the map here. Keep in mind guys, that torque will be coming into effect in this round number six. So this is last 20, round of the half. 20 second respawn. So take a look at the overhead map right here. Uh, and both teams need to be outside. And yet, Envious well, is bringing that, they bring in that extra guy in the middle of the yeah, map to win this fight once hill. again. They're and Toy is going to push right out. That smoke is going to stun Summons, so he can't really cross Toy. So he was only getting shot by one Lancer. Stummin, Summons is not going to break out just yet. He just wants to make sure a boom is secured. He's going to throw that smoke, but it's going to land on the top of that cover. Not going to stun anybody. It's going to be a fight outside. Envious has dropped back to Captain Home Hill, and Toy is going to push in here. And he's taking a lot of damage, John. Movement by Toy, but keep mind, Blaze. Them not getting their home hill might cost them. The Lancer Cross comes in, the Revive comes in as well. It's all up to Summons. He's going to get shut down by Toy Soldier. And Team Envious is going to heat up here to death. They have a 5v3, Blaze. And they have that 5v3 for about 40 seconds because the respawn timers are 20 seconds each. They need to capitalize here with a push. And they need to get some more kills. Take their 5v3 man up opportunity. So still up more with Soto. Soto across the map and a 1v against Kenny. Kenny is full red. Kenny needs to stay alive. And Soto is going to choke. What a big play by Kenny right there. No, he doesn't. Soto on top of the world right now. He's going to get shut down by Lava. And he's going to come out of here. Lava, he's making plays right there. Defending Double his kill. home hill, keeping his team in the game. But Envious will have a slight lead right here. They will cap this neutral hill. And a good job by Soto, but he needs to get that kill earlier, Blaze. He waited so long to get that kill. Lava was able to respawn, and Lava then went huge for the double kill. Envious, a massive mistake there. They could have capitalized on their 5v3 opportunity, but instead they decided to play a little bit more passive. They didn't put their foot on the gas pedal as much as they should have, Blaze. We got an optic trying to make a play for this B hill, and Summers is going to push in. Mason cost him a little bit of a distraction here. He's trying to chase down his kill. He's feeling very, very confident. And he's going to actually pick up that kill on there you go. And now watch how Optic plays this play. They have a 5v3. No, Solars is going to shut it down. A team kill comes in. That's a huge mistake there for Ribs. And now Optic with a 4v2 situation. Let's see how they capitalize, Blaze. And right there, that insane was good. It was just, it actually wasn't good. It was just a little bit short. But the, but the thought process of it was Mental. good. Mental, how are you still alive, my friend? He's going to take out Franchise with a nice kick. And Mental, again, makes a huge play. Gosh. They're taking the turn right now, Blaze. Yeah, they definitely are, but they're making sure that they have an anchor on their home hill so they do not get three cap. It's been, it's been Mental and Lava going big for them on, on, that, on that accord right there. And, but here comes the torque. Look at the sneakiness from Mental. He hits a good first shot on Toy Soldier. Optic Gaming, who has really should have lost this round a long time ago, Blaze, after losing two members early on, has bounced back so well, showing their composure. A good round by Optic Gaming. Toy Soldier now is going to back out and reset, and Envious needs to come up with a good strategy. Toy Soldier, good rotation. A big 1v. Good rotation. A perfect rotation from Toy. 
Toy realized that they cannot get their home hill, so he made a heads up decision to regroup with his teammates to try to take over B. And he got over there quick, but his Optic members who are trying to stop that, can Soto win this? And he's full oh red. And Mitchell God. is saying, no, you will not win that fight. You will not break this hill. And we're about to go for this domination. And there you have it. Optic Gaming with a three cap domination, knowing that they have a five on two, and they take it. And again, Blaze, it comes back to the fact that Team Envious had a five on three opportunity a perfect opportunity. They had frags, they have instants, they could have won the round, but Soto was not able to get the kill on Kenny, who stayed alive just long Dinosaur. enough for his teammate Lava to respawn and to come and lock up a double kill. We saw a huge double kill from Mental as well. And later on in the rounds, one double kill is all it takes, Blaze, to secure a triple cap domination. Optic Gaming playing perfect to finish off that round. No, they definitely did play play, play uh, perfect right there. And, and you know, we saw, we saw Toy make that good rotation, but just could not do it. And uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be halftime right here, John. So everything's gonna get wiped on the map. So we're back to 10 second respawns. Yep. Halftime. The hills are gonna flip. The respawn timers are gonna reset to 10 seconds, and there's no power ups on the map again. Kenny's gonna get a first kill on franchise. Lava full red. He's gonna full red. Solars. Solars comes out with a kill. Solars against summon. Let's jump over to that fight. Solars needs to come out on top. His teammate Soto is gonna toy. He's gonna get embarrassed. Summons with a huge double kill. Right there, Summon's going big for his team. We're gonna have Optic Capricorn, Capricorn is neutral hill, and Domination Capricorn. is coming nope. in, but it's gonna be stopped there by Soto, and Soto's gonna have a 1v1 on his D-Hill, and he's fighting big for that, but he will have teammates coming in to help him soon, and Soto's gonna go down, That's but uh, Mental can't stay alive right there. He does get help. Lava knows that you know his teammate is dead just to back up and watch the ramp. Old right hand, good job by Lava there. Now he's going to be using his stopping power to his advantage, trying to stay alive as long as he can. All he wants to do is stay alive, and he's going to get down. The team fire from Envious, we talked about it earlier, on point so far here. And now Envy is going to swarm. Good job by Soto. Getting that meat shield. Big one versus one, sorry, three versus one. Mental dealing alive. Let's have a word of Mental here and see how he fights it. And you know, one thing that we gotta take, take into account here is that once teams lose that initial fight for the middle hill, they would just play for the home hills. And that's what we've seen Envious do right there. They got the home hill and they just pushed straight across. Lava tried to stop that, but he just could not. He didn't get help in time. And we're gonna have Soto break this home hill. Now it's two cap comes in for Team Envious. They're gonna have DNF, but look at the time difference, Blaze. 50 seconds between the two. The smokes come in, Soto needs help. They need the rotation and he is not gonna get it. Summons with a double kill with one shot. Summons just went huge on the other side of the map. Some wow. is just making plays for his team right here, John. Very well. Soto's going to be in rotation right wow. here, but he's going to go down. And uh, Explosive is going to get flanked there in the middle. Summons is holding, doing a good job here, keeping control of E. But Toy is going to come here to fight Can for it. Can he 180? Yes, he does. Summons is going off, guys. It is so hard to find a weakness in this Optic Gaming squad. But if you ask pro players, they say Summons is the worst player of the five, which says a lot because they're all so good. And he is proving that is not the case here. 17 kills to his name. Summons, when it matters the most, his second ever major Gears of War eSport event. The new kid on the block is going huge on land. Envious needs a three cap right here. They're down by about 75 points. You know, if, if Optic can just hold one heal at this point, that's all he needs to do. And so they should be kind of almost backing up a little bit, making sure they can, de they can defend one of these heals. Uh, and that's what we're going to see some of these guys do. 2v2 fight here, full control over their, over their home heal, but it's going to be four, four points left. They're going to get this round. That's a good ending from there from Solos and Soto pushing the opposite hill. It's not going to matter. Kenny summons, I mean, literally every member. And Optic Gaming is smiling. They're laughing. They're having fun. That's how easy it is right now for this Optic Gaming squad. Meanwhile, other side, you see the frustration on Team Envious's face. Down 6-1. to one. Their back's against the wall, Blaze. And you got to wonder, do they even have a chance left in this championship final? I think they want to do boom shot again. I think uh, that's what they're deciding. I think I think they may want to do. We see them want to plant nades or block something, but the boom shot they managed to get that one round and, and kind of control the pace of the map with it. But they're just going to go to their, their normal strategy. Just make sure they block those side spawns. They don't want incens on the map. Uh, they don't want two pairs of incens on the map for that matter. Well said. Here, taking a look at the main stage here, guys. A beautiful production, a beautiful dis display by MLG at MLG Columbus. I hope you guys have been enjoying the action all weekend long. Here we go. No weapon placed, I think, right? Is there no weapon? Yeah, no weapon placed. Lost the weapons here. Kind of On board, Toy Soul down low. He's going against Lava. Lava with some cheeky movement. He's going to go wide with the Lancer here. Spark the fish making the push, but Lava's going to go down. Good team fire from Envy. Boy picks up the kill on Lava. He's going to turn and cross, and a nice job by Explosive to back out and stay alive right there. So right here, uh, Toy did a good job uh, coming down from bottom middle to get that flank. 
and he's not going to cap Aegis yet. He knows it's not secure. He has two people in front of him, and he's going to lose that fight right there. And Summons made him pay, and Summons going to come back over towards the E Hill, and he's going to lock, try to lock that down once again. And he got into another fight, and he won that against Solars as well, taking out two envious members right there in order to secure that heal by himself. Now he's going to have help from his teammate. Ribs is going to go down. Domination is coming in, and we're going to have team. No, we're not actually. Franchise making that clutch play right there. He's taking out one. He wants the second. He's going to get the second kill right there. He's going to get help from Soto, and he's going to keep Envious alive. A beautiful up A truck shot from Franchise, managing to stay alive when he was full red. But is it enough, plays? Five on three opportunity. Envy's going to swarm for this D hill. They're going to get it, and they're going to be able to hold the double cap. But here we go. The Optic Squad is coming in. The explosive is full red. Summons is pushing up as well. Big fight. They're going down here. And Explosive. And no, they're going to come out on top. They're going to force Envy out. And Envy's going to rotate now to the that E hill. That was smart. That was smart, John. Look but at all four of them at the e -Hill. rotating look at, look over. They, 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 they well. couldn't get it. Optic's going to get their fast enough. Optic is just out rotating Envious right now, purely. And there you go. Ribs is going to take out Summons. Let's see if the Envious rotation will be enough. Ribs needed to hit that shot. Mental is full red. Mental's going to go down. Ribs gets the kill and a perfect rotation from uh, from uh, Envious. Nice job. Well played. Now, Envious needs to, they, they, after they capped this hill, they need to keep the pressure on them. Uh, about 50, 50, 50 points down right here, John. They almost need to play for this three cap, at least put some pressure on it. But it's already a member of Optic Gaming on their home hill, and he's going to actually break that and keep the two cap alive for Optic. Here we go, on board with Mental right now on the low side. We're going to jump. Jumping into picture in picture here, hopping on board with Mental's POV. And okay, right here. Rotate wide right. He's going to go back to his D hill. Optic Gaming holding the double cap is going to be enough. Meanwhile, Solars in a big fight on the far side. Going to hit a good shot down Summons. And just like that, Team Envious is going to get the D hill back, but the double cap is not going to be enough, please. No, it's not going to be enough at all right here. And we're going to be <laughs> on board here and uh, taking some shots here. Now going towards the D hill and going towards this D hill, they're going to actually hold off right here. Envious, they have the two cap, but they are going to be down. They need to go for the three cap right now. And I'm not sure if they're going to get it, John. You and I both. Doesn't look good for Envious. Optic Gaming is playing too well. Toy Soldier takes out one toy. Needs to continue to go off. Good shot there from Solars. But it's going to be a Lava and Explosive that go off on their home. And he's going to chainsaw the meat shield for pure disrespect. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, if you are a fan of the green wall, you are on top of the world right now because Optic Gaming is proving they are the dominant, undisputed best team in Gears of War 4 right now. They are making this look effortless. Seriously, look at them. Slouching in their chairs, hanging out. Lava, Kenny, Explosive, Mental, and Summon. Such an exciting team to watch. So good at this game. And they are making it look easy, Blaze. No, they really are. And uh, sensitivity. Explosive, for example, plays on all 30s. Praise plays on 12. So it's a different style of play. It's very methodical. It's very I'll force you into my hand. And it, he does a good job of it. A lot of people argue that Praise was the better player in Gears Ultimate Edition than Explosive was. No, no, they definitely will, especially comparing those two. Uh, but we're going to be on board with this map and going to be hopping on board here with Lava. Kick, kick us off, John. Yep, on board with Lava here. The B hill is a crucial fight. That is the middle hill here on this one. Optic Gaming likes to play aggressive. Envious likes to force the push here, and that's exactly what they're going to do. Optic's going to take middle control, but Envy is going to try and use their Lancers to slowly weed them out. And here we go. The Mantle Vault, he wanted it, Blaze. He wanted that Mantle uh, Vault He so thought bad. about it. He definitely thought about it. But this is the fight where I'm talking about they have to win. They can't let Optic get up here. They need to take advantage of their front spine. Their front, Envious' front spine needs to get in the mix and fight Kenny for the uh, control over that arc. If he doesn't, then this is the fight that they're going to be in the whole time. Beautiful cross right there comes in from Toy Soldier. A heads-up play from him. They should capitalize on this opportunity. Are they going to do so? No. Optic Gaming is doing just a great job keeping them back here. But keep in mind, Blaze, it is a pure tie right now. The B-Hill has not been capped. Finally, that B-Hill will be capped by Optic Gaming. And that's the perfect opportunity to push. One member down, but Mental takes out Franchise down low as the anchor. Yeah, they can't, they can't break through the setup. They need to go. Lava and Explosive. The Lance is just too much. And Toy with the Mantle Kick. He's going to come out with one. Going to backtrack now. Toy versus Explosive, the movement comes in, and Explosive oh. comes out on top, and the domination is going to be in effect for Optic Gaming. 
all because Franchise at the home hill got taken out by Mental. Blades, I'm not sure if you had a chance to watch the semifinals match, but Franchise against Craze was losing the fight at anchor every single round. You gotta wonder if that's the right position for Franchise, that anchor spot. He is the shot caller for your team. Why would you send the shot caller on the complete opposite side of the map where he can't really control the rotations? Because the, the typical stereotype is that we're gonna put more of our not so skilled shotgun player yep. in those anchor positions, but Actually, we see people, we see Optic kind of keep mental, mental, you know, mental, and mental, yep, mental and Kenny in those anchor positions for them because they can, they're the most skilled 1v1 player. Are you saying franchise is, is not as skilled? He can't, he can't keep up in the fights up top, would you say? Well, I say out of all 10 of these players, he stores the bottom. Yep. You know, he has his moments and that's, you know, and it is what it is. But, uh, you know, they're pushing him and they're taking that 1v1. They're having one guy go across map and challenge him. You know, in, in my but opinion, Blaze, you put, Sol you put Soto down in that anchor spot. You sent franchise up top. He's performing this event. He's because Soto is Soto is more so be a one v one player. Yes. Okay. And once again, Kenny made it in there, and uh, they're gonna actually chase him down. And Lava's gonna go down right there. And Kenny's making plays. Kenny. Gets one. Can Kenny get the double? No, he's gonna get taken out by Toy Soldier. Mr. Movement himself. Here we go. Four on three opportunity. Soto takes out Summons in the one versus one. And now Team Envious. It's all up to Toy Soldier against Explosive. Look how good Explosive's movement is. He is gonna be full redded here, and he's gonna get taken out. Nah, he, he definitely will be. Very smart gonna, by Envy's there to use their pistols and lancers. Yeah, they're going to time him out there a little bit and uh, wait wait till they get that kill. And so they're going to get control of this. So now Envious has to say, yo, okay, do we try to, you know, make a push? You no, know, they have angles on this. And see, it's so difficult for them to get up there, and they can't make it. But they're going to rush three guys. Envious's play should be trying to go for the home hill. And there you go. Look at uh, your, your spot on. Franchise needs to play a little bit more aggressive than anchor spot. But down low, you see Mental pushing the home hill of Envious. And uh, honestly, Blaze, Envious should have dominated of that fight. They had one down earlier. It was a three versus two. And still, Optic Gaming is able to outskill it. Look at Kenny Bounce. He takes out one. It's all up to a one versus one. And Summons is going to come out on top. What a play by Summons, the 19-year-old from Chicago. Summons is just holding it down right here on the B Hill. And now he's going to be putting shots. It's going to be hard for Envious to make it back up here and take control over B. Ribs looks like he has a general idea, but he's actually going to take a lot of fire. That crossfire it just looks ridiculous. And Optic's going to be start pushing for this three cap. So they're, they're going to actually force Envious in spawn. Look at this setup. They're wow. keeping Envious back here in spawn with just a team fire. They know exactly where everybody is, and they will sit here. Envious needs to make a play, but... Our play by Optic, they're calling don't OE, don't OE. We can just hold the two cap, and that's all they need to do is Fortress up Franchise. Going to take out Explosive. Ribs takes out Mental, and now Envious with the 4v3. This 1v1 is huge. Ribs is going to use his movement to escape, and that's something plays. Oh, Soto's going to dominate Lava, and there you go, Kenny is going to be in a 1v1 against Ribs, and Ribs is somehow still alive. How does he manage to do it? His movement is unbelievable, and he's going to escape again. Ribs, it distracts Kenny for a pure 20 seconds there, Blaze. And so for you guys that do not know what OE means, it means overextend. Do not overextend. And uh, and they're going to want to win this off of time. And so Envious, they had the... Um, you know, they had somewhat of a, they, they, they're coming back and they're getting a lead right now and they're gonna actually tie this. Uh, and so they're gonna actually push through and see this is optic deal what NBA should have did a long time ago and play for the whole hill. And they're gonna cap A to C. This is gonna be a good game. A piece here, I could not agree more, Blaze. This is gonna come down to the wire here, folks. 180 to 182, it is Optic Gaming that has the two cap right now. Envious needs to push for a break. Explosive is gonna spawn here, Soto. It is all up to him. He gets taken down, and now it is gonna be Optic Gaming with a slight lead here and the man advantage. But Ribs takes out Lava. Four versus four opportunity. Explosive is still alive here. And it's gonna be Kenny that down solars and Optic Gaming is gonna come out on top in this one unless the A-Hill gets broken, it's not going to. Nope, Optic being very, very patient, making the best of their opportunities here. Uh, but we saw, it just shows how fast Optic plays, right? You know, we were saying how Envious should stop trying to contest with B and push for the home hills. As soon as Optic lost that B hill, the first thing they did was play for the enemy's home hill down low. And now, so you're going to have to have enemy place weapons here. Not my fault, not, you're going to have to have Envious place weapons here. And uh, they're going to actually go for the shot grenades. They, so they want to use these shot grenades to just uh, block off that initial rush for B. And so the shot grenades, all they can do is pretty much slow you down and down you. They can't uh, instant kill you. Exactly. Ribs loves to use those shot grenades very tactically. 
let's see if he's gonna be the one to grab it before playing him as the Swarm team is Team Envious. It is gonna be Ribs that does grab it. Kenny grabs it for his team. Mental playing the anchor position. On board with Lava, the captain of Octic Gaming. He's gonna be playing a support role now. He's gonna take out a shotgun, and the perfect shot grenade is gonna come out by Kenny Bounce. Lava picks up the kill, and Lava is not done yet. Beautiful L trigger there. He's gonna continue to push. No, he doesn't like what he sees. He backs out and resets. That's just a smart play right there, John. Not overextending and getting in a position where you can cross, and he's gonna have two Envious members down on the ground, and he's gonna be protecting his teammate right there. Oh, Envious got three, franchise. two members down on the ground, and Toy's gonna actually get up, clean up the kill on explosives. Mental is hunting him down, and he will get that kill as well. The teamwork from Optic is just amazing. It really is. The rotations are on point. Their individual skill is on another level. You gotta wonder, Blaze, who can defeat this Optic gaming squad when they are playing this well. They have five players as good as Optic five players. The mantle kick comes in. Mental's gonna get down, though. Good team fire from Envious. Yeah, good team fire right there. Saving a teammate in Solars, and they're gonna want to push for this B-Hill now. There's just Lava left to defend it. He's gonna put a good shot in on Solars, and Explosive is there to cross as well. He's gonna get revived, oh. but Explosive, he felt that from Solars. Yeah, he definitely did. Solars killing his former teammate Explosive after getting revived. Good revive from Ribs comes in now. Three members dead, four Optic Gaming. Ex Kenny and Mental, the last to alive, and Kenny is going to 180 franchise. Huge double kill from Kenny Bounce, and it's going to be Mental. Look at Kenny and Mental, the two of them, the duo. Kenny with the triple kill, and Optic Gaming stays alive, Blaze. Envious, what a play. Envious still has two heals capped up right now. They are going to take the lead, and uh, we're going to see Kenny go take this unguarded home heal, and, uh, but he's about to be contested by two members of Envious, and now they're going to be pushing out. He's actually going to be the aggressor, but he's going to pay for that one right there, and Explosive is going to take him out. Look at MV and Franchise. Soto and Franchise are going to take out Mental. Here we go. Envious is down by two points. Team Optic in a three versus three right now, holding the B Hill very well. Overhead map will show you three members of Optic, but they're going to be rotating over to C. And so right here, Lava, Hillman, uh, Lava and Summons is just being anchors up here for this B Hill. And even if their home heal gets, gets broken, right? Even if that home heal gets broken, they have a lot of fire up there. Um, from the B heal, where they just need to wait for their teammates to respawn. And I want to stay on board with Explosive here. He is so good at Gears 4. I want to show you guys what exactly he does. It's his movement that really, in particular, plays so well into his playstyle, into Optic Gaming's playstyle. On board with Explosive right now, but he also just knows where to be at the right time, always positions himself well, probably the best position player in Gears 4 right now. When you got three members of Optic up here, you need to make a play quick. Like, you need to make a play right now. If you're not going for B, and there, there's the smokes, they need to hurry up and try to make this happen. You need to actually be going for B and C simultaneously. And look at the rotation from Explosive, a heads up play from the captain, or sorry, the in-game shot caller of Optic Gaming. Lava takes out two, he's the captain, and he, and Explosive goes to the up A. He's gonna get taken out, but it's not gonna matter because Optic Gaming is gonna get the domination and Lava with a nice little smack to the how did, how did, I don't even understand how that happened in the midst of that team fight. They lost a home hill. Like somebody snuck past and capped a home hill. If that was the case, they should have been getting the enemy team's home hill as well. Uh, they shouldn't have got dominated that round. Yeah, you know, I agree. The anchor position for Envious has been a weakness. We saw Team Revenge, who really got outplayed and outclassed by, op by Team Envious. Oh, sorry, I said Optic, I said Envious, sorry. By, uh, by Team Envious. The only thing that Revenge did better than Envy Blaze was the anchor position. Kraz, of course, outclassing Franchise a few times in our loser's bracket finals, and now it's going to be uh, Envious again losing the anchor fight. So if I'm Envy, I'm adjusting. Let's send Soto there instead. Let's put Franchise in the middle of the battle and see if that is the secret sauce or something, something to turn this around. The secret sauce. <laughs> and these nades are gonna get placed right down low uh, as we see. So we're gonna have the same 3v3 fight that we have up top, but now somebody's gonna have to extend down there and get those nades. Maybe that can be the extra added, uh, you know, the extra what they need to actually take that home hill. So Lava's gonna get cut off there by that stun grenade, but he's gonna actually come across and actually make himself around. Like he found the, the, the one route that he actually had to get in there. Rick Road, if you will. Lava doing a good job dodging those shot grenades here. 17 apiece, but it's gonna be Envy. Oh, a nice grenade though. So Optic is in a good, is a bad position, but wow. Lava is gonna take out one franchise, takes out Lava. Now, it's all up to the one, the only. Oh, and it's gonna be explosive, and no, yeah, they're gonna shut it down. Summons with a huge flank, and Optic still comes out on top when they definitely should have, shouldn't have. Well, I can say one thing, at least we see Envious changing things up a little bit, because Franchise, he went up top to fight that fight. We didn't see him fighting that fight in the earlier rounds, but now uh, he decides to go up there, and he put a little dent up there, but still, Optic came out on top, and Optic is actually in control of that nade area at the bottom side of the map as well. Envious, they need to group up right here and make a play happen soon. Good shot there by Explosives, not going to do much. As 
uh, that is Franchise is going to get his health back. The push is coming in. Franchise does go down, so Explosive's Lancer Fire is going to build. Look at Explosive's! He takes out one, he takes out two. Explosive goes for the triple kill here, and he's going to be taken out by Ribs. Explosives, picking up two kills there for his team. He's making sure he become that uh, become that slayer. Nades are going to be out. Mental has full control. He also has one nade left in his pocket, and uh, they're going to use his nade to possibly go for the domination. But he sees somebody on on a flank trying to snake him. This nade is going to come out, prevent him from trying to break that hill. Just gives him Mental enough time to make it back there, and oh, that nade gave no. them the domination. Perfect nade yeah, there by Mental. Perfect nade. Toy Soldier thought he got the break. Keep mind, guys, it takes three seconds to break a hill in Escalation. It's not the instant break like King of the Hill. And I'm not sure if you saw there, Blaze. They actually did change it up. Envious did the same exact thing we talked about. Franchise played up top at B. Soto was down low as the anchor, and still outclassed Optic Gaming up 4-0 to zero right now. They are dominating this Grand Finals, their first major tournament as the Green Wall. Yeah, you know you know what? I probably even would have put a sniper down low just because if Envious is going to lose the fight for this B-Hill every single round, maybe they can use franchise talent in sniping to actually keep some of these guys' heads down uh, that's, uh, that's just crossing them all over the map. Yeah, agreed, Blaze. That's the only way I put franchise in the home hill. If you have a sniper there, let him cap that hill, let him grab that sniper and go to work. Franchise, of course, since Gears 1 has always been known as one of the best snipers in the game. But one thing you have to keep in mind, you can't put a uh, sniper at the home hill because mental is so good with it. That's why you see the red X at the home hill. Envious decided to block out that sniper because Mental is so ridiculously good with that weapon. No, he definitely is. And uh, you don't want to like, give a team control over that hill as well as a power weapon as well. So that's a good block to start this round off. But grenades, I'm not sure if you saw grenades picked up by Toy Soldier. Expect those grenades to come into effect here in just a few seconds. On board of Kenny, a little bit of a standoff here on the high side, 18 apiece. Solars that we're going to hop on board as the flank comes in from Summons. The double flank, the double cross, the revive chain comes in, and look how perfect Optic Gaming is playing. Is it going to be enough? Summons revives explosive, and now the cross comes in from Envy. Envy is able to shut that down. Well played by Team Envious. Solars and Franchise doing a good job right there, staying alive here. And we're going to have Team Envious in control over two of these heels. They just need to win this fight here. And they're going to be. Oh! But Explosives has something to say about that. Explosive. And he's staying alive. Explosive. Nades are coming out. They're going to kill Lava. And Explosives. He he's he still alive. And he's Punches still alive again. Explosives. What a huge play. And he's not done yet. He has one oh, more no, he, no, And don't he do is it. feeling himself way too well right now. Don't Look do it. it. Look at his movement. He's don't do it. And his shots. He's not missing. And he's going to hit oh. the back game. Explosive. You are on fire. And he's going to make sure the other team hears it. Wow. That was brilliant by Explosives. Four kills right there by <laughs> Explosives to just get full control over this B-Hill. And Envious. Almost could have got a good domination right there, but they were just not quick enough on taking that fight against Lava and Explosives came in there and he saved the round. And so right now, Optic Game in control over two heels. They are behind though, but they're slowly closing the gap here uh, on this deficit. And so Envious, they need to take this time and just come up with a good strat. They don't have to rush it. They have a little bit of cushion right here. Well placed shot grenade right there from Envious. Franchise takes out one. Soto's going to kill Explosive with the incendiary grenade. Possibly the only weapon that can shut down Explosives in his tracks. Lava gets taken out. So Soto with an instant kill. And just like that, Envious has three dead. They need to capitalize. They cannot die. And they're going to do exactly that. Envious with a well-coordinated push. And the domination is going to come in for Team Envious. Yes, they get it. And there you go. Envious is on the board 4-1. to one. They need that. That was a good round right there. They don't want to go down 5-0. Do not want to go down 5-0. If they can take another round here in this half, that'll be good for them. Now we're going into 20-second respawns. Yeah, let's take a look when we have a chance after the weapon placements here. Looks like Optic gets a chance to place a weapon. It's going to be a sniper. That's a smart play right there. Optic Gaming, a great power weapon team. They're going to get the sniper in the hands of, I believe, Lava. Maybe Kenny Bounce up top at the B-Hill. Explosives has been practicing it as well, so maybe he'll grab it. Look at the stats. 13 kills, 4 Soto, 3 down. Soto doing everything he can right now. And 6 kills, sorry, 6 caps and 4 breaks. So he's playing objective. He's also slaying for Envious, but unfortunately it's not enough. Envious cannot let Lava hop over this back cover. If he hops over this back cover and makes it in there one more time without getting stopped, and he's going to make it up there once again, and he's going to get inside control over this B-Hill. Envious needs to make use of their front spine the best possible way they can. It's going to be Lava that's looking to grab that sniper. He hasn't done it yet. He wants it. And 
he is going to cap the hill instead here. Lava, captain of Optic Gaming. Grenade goes off. He's going to dodge that one. Heads up play by Lava. The second grenade goes off. Also a dodge kill, but Envious is going to swarm. Solars picks up one. Summons shuts down the push with an instant, and that's going to stop this Envious push. Lava with the beautiful back A on right hand. Explosive with the double kill on the flank, and Optic Gaming is on fire. They are like a train that cannot be stopped right now. Explosive with 16 kills. Explosives. He's just looking at this last guy and telling Mental to push him, and they're just they're being very, very patient. Mental waiting for help, and you can't blame them right there. They're going to make that a 2v1, and they're going to three cap this hill right here. And that's going to be it. Yep, that's going to be it. Round win for Optic Gaming, 5 to 1, and Explosives with the huge flank and the double kill there is waving his foes goodbye. Team Envious is not able to get anything going here in this grand final, but keep in mind, Blaze, a key story here again is Solars, the substitute for this team. Envious missing a Titan in praise, the best player on Envious, hands down, bar none, and arguably the best player in the game, and especially in Gears Ultimate Edition. No, it definitely is, John. And so we're going into uh, going into halftime here. So, folks, the heels will flip. We will be having uh, the D, F, and E hill. So it will not be a hill uh, where that B hill was at the top of the map. It will be going to the bottom towards the workshop. And so we really won't see the top half of the map used as much as we did during the first half. And right there, you saw a really well placed smoke grenade for uh, Envious, and Explosives able to just get out and survive. That escapability is so important in this game, and really, Explosive is the best in the business at that. Follow Cam's gonna show you guys a quick overview of the entire map here. Explosive stays alive and then turns it around, gets a kill on ribs. Five on four. Expect Optic to take their man advantage right now. Lava takes out franchise, make that a 5v3. Optic Gaming pushing up, keeping on the gas pedal. Kenny goes down, but the revive is gonna come in. Grant Toy is, and Toy is full red. You know what? To start that, to start this round, you know, Optic, nobody played for uh Nobody played for the barn. Nobody went down there. They all played up top, and they just played for both home hills. And you just see the control that they have up there. And now they're just taking that uh, that elevation advantage and just crossing down on Envious and forcing them to come to them. Yeah, no, that's a great point, Blaze. Optic Gaming realizing, hey, it's the first round. Respawn timers are so short. We just need to play for the two cap because the two cap is so important early on. We don't need to force a three cap. And again, it's early on, Blaze. A lot of teams are going to be unique in strategy. And a lot of teams are still going to learn catch up. But give it a couple months, the meta game is going to continue to evolve and things are going to, economies of skills are going to be reached here in Gears Esports. And we're going to have three members down from Optic. Ribs is going to take this, and he's going to react very, very fast and go take the home hill. And he's going to be putting his team in a position for a trip cap, for the domination. He needs to win this fight, and yes, he does. Beautiful strafe right there from Ribs. Can he get the double? Yes, he does over explosives. A beautiful old school strafe from Ribs is going to make give him a huge play. Mental's full red. He cannot get taken out. He does not. Franchise takes out Mental. He's going to back out and reset and does not force the three cap. Look at the score, Blaze. That's a smart decision. Yeah, you would have hoped that uh, Ribs got help a little bit sooner uh, because he had to take on that 1v3. He took out two of those guys, but Franchise will back up and he will just keep uh, the B the B heel control. Yeah, that's a good point, Blaze. Ribs' his mind works so fast. He's always three steps ahead of himself, let alone five steps ahead of his teammates there. So a heads up play by Ribs. Double kill, but the teamwork did not come in. The rotation was not there fast enough. Yeah, that's Ribs. You know, that's that, uh, you know, also in the fighting game community as well. You know, he plays a lot of Smash, and, you know, he just has those reactions right there. Shout out to IQ HQ. I'm board of Mental right now. Ten kills. Four Lava, seven downs, only 140 seconds dead. Mental's going to take out Soto. Optic Gaming out with the five on four. Look at the score difference. It's a 70 point difference. And again, Optic is going to get the double cap. They need to go for the triple cap, though. Toy Soldier takes that explosive. They're going to shut it down. It looks like Envious is going to win this round again with the one cap. They, But the E Hill is getting contested. They're going down. Lava is trying to shut them both down. But Solars has something to say about that. If Lava would have kept that fight, Solar. they possibly could have got the domination. Envious needs to keep control over E. And Mental is trying to get over there, but he knows that he just cannot make it. Yeah, Mental knows the round is over. <laughs> he's going to give his team an explosive a little dunk on the head right there. And uh, Optic Gaming is not sweating it. Five to two right now. That just now. shows so his, his perfect awareness of what's going on all around him on the map. That's so true. He knows the round's over. There's no point to waste your energy in going for a cap right there. So Envious, they need to figure out a way to formulate uh, you know, another another four rounds here. And you see at the top left of your screen, Explosive chose the weapon. He has the Gears Esports emblem, folks. Keep in mind the Gears Esports pack, which is very, very limited. It's only on sale on certain occasions. Is on sale right now, obviously in honor of MLG Columbus, the Gears War 4 launch invitational event. So make sure to show support for Gears Esports. Proceeds do go to Gears Esports in the prize pool by purchasing that Gears Esports pack. Get yourself a nice Esports character skin 
They are so disgusting. I love Ziv as hands on the best, best characters in my opinion. Ribs did a good job to stop that initial push there from Lava to try to go for that two cap. But we're going to have Toy Soldier shut down that push by Summons. Uh, you know, so we have Optic Gaming. They just get the envious that neutral hill. They just say, hey, you guys can have it. And uh, you guys can have this initial two cap if you want. But, you know, we got a different different plan in play. And can Ribs do it? No, he cannot. He's going to get taken out. Almost got the 180 there. To be all up to mental and explosives. Doesn't matter. His teammate Kenny is going to pick up the kill as well. Optic Gaming, as soon as you thought they were a little bit down, is going to bounce back so fast and so well. Toy Soldier shuts down mental, but the double down comes in. The revives weren't there. And Explosive is going to pick up the kill and a little bit of savagery from Explosives. Mr. Hype himself. You know, I just love how quickly Optic reacted because once Lava called it out that he wasn't getting through, Lava. he told him, he said, hey, play Lava. for E. Play. And the domination coming in. Folks, Optic Gaming one round away from being your Gears of War 4 MLG Invitational Champions. The inaugural Gears of War 4 Esports event, Optic Gaming making a huge statement that they should be feared. Going into MLG Columbus, our next event, the end of November, $250,000 on the line there. The green wall is hoping to take it home for Hector, for Hitch, for Jay, and the rest of Optic Gaming. Can they finish it off here, and will they be as dominant for the entire season as they are in this event? That's the question, Blaze. And they're going to uh, actually, they, they're just going to place Hammer Burst down. You know, all the weapons, they say, hey, we're just going to put Hammer Burst down. The question is, is it just like, you know, hey, you know, <laughs> the game is over. We're just going to put these bursts down. Or uh, if they got some strategy behind this one, actually. Because, you know, and the reason why I say that, because there's a lot of other things that you can put down to help you out. And uh, but don't get me wrong, that Hammer Burst is, that hammer burst is savage. Oh, yeah. I've seen, we've seen some good Hammer Burst use. Kraz was using it earlier. Uh, Strangulate was using it earlier as well. On board with Toy Soldier. 11 kills to his name. He's trying to get something going. Lava, who has also been performing well. His franchise earlier said Lava was the weak link on Optic. That has not been the case. He played very well in his grand final. Toy Soldier versus Kenny, his rival, his nemesis, in my opinion. Of course, Toy replaced Kenny on, on Envious, and now on his new squad is really showing that he should have stayed on that team. I'm sure he's happy how things turned out. Nah, he, de he, de he definitely is. Um, but Toy is just, you know, right here, he's just, you know, making sure, you know, that they put some respect oh, in wait. his name. Oh, wait. Toy Soldier, smart play. He's actually an optic spawn, so rather than going back to his home hill, he's going to be a sneaky beaver in this one. Flank is coming in from Toy. He, no, miss, hits his first shot, misses the second, but it connects after that. And there you have it. Envious with a very smart play, thanks to Toy Soldier and Franchise. Yeah, that was a good play right there by Toy. Gonna be on board here with Franchise, and he's gonna be fighting for this neutral hill. And he's gonna come down here, and he's gonna actually be uncontested. And so Envious, they're gonna be actually close to getting three cap, but Explosives shut down Solar, so they're gonna have control over this hill. But now Toy is gonna be spying it. Yep, Toy Soldier, 12 kills to his name. Again, just had that heads up play. We're gonna hop on board with Explosives, though, as Explosive is gonna make Toy, Toy Soldier say, uh, pay for the miss roll right there and the mistake. And now, Team Optic Gaming, 82 to 81, are going to be down by one hill, but Explosive with a hammer burst hits some good shots, and his teammate's going to get the down here, gets flanked, pulls out his shotgun, look at the, the aggression here, the reaction shot comes in from Explosives, he is on the prowl, he's going to back out and reset with his teammate. I'm mad that Soto's ran from that fight, <laughs> you know, like he, he saw he saw Explosives and just bounced. Got some uh, Mando Dom. But yeah, now, you know, he could have came back there, he could have got that fight. But now we're going to have Optic Gaming, they're going to take this lead by a few points here. Got control over two hills. Envious, they need to make something happen. They're on a brink of elimination, John. They are. Ladies and gentlemen, get in the chat, get excited. It's a numbers game now. If you are a Green Wall fan, the first ever major event championship on the brink of happening. It's going to help when Mental dominates Toy Soldier in a 1v, but it's Ribs that's going to go big. He gets a kill with Solar's franchise, takes out Explosive, and just like that, Envious is going to turn things around, but look how well they do by escaping and staying alive. That's what Optic Gaming does so well, and they're going to hold a double cap to suit. They know there's no point of dying up there, uh, but we're going to have Summers try to defend his home hill. He's going to be in a fight right here, taking some damage. Look at Summon's movement, if he would have hit that one shot. Oh, but he's going to get revived. He gets taken up by Solars. Solars is going to get the double kill. Envious down by 20 points. They're going to need to get a triple cap here, Blaze. The double cap is not going to be enough, so it's looking good for the green wall here. It could be the first championship in favor of Optic Gaming. They are playing so ridiculously well, and the Optic Gaming dynasty is looking to continue its dominance in Gears of War for the very first time. They just need to hold one they point know here. Envious has to push. They should have pushed like 10 seconds ago, actually, John. Yep. 
They need to get in there. They need to get towards that F heal right now. Explosive is good. Weak. Explosive is so weak. He is not, not able to down explosives. That could be costly. Ribs needs to fly. They need to go. The F hill is not going to be acquired. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Optic Gaming, your Gears of War 4 MLG Invitational Champions for the first time under the green wall. The Optic Boys bring it home. Congratulations to Optic Gaming. Man, just such a dominant performance. Uh, you know, the only person that they got any any uh, contestant from this whole tournament was Team Revenge. You know, they came out and they played good all day, but uh, they lost a little fire there to Envious. And after that first match, which was Optic's first match of the day, by the way, but after they got those uh, those land jitters out and they got comfortable, they just dominate the entire tournament. Oh, without a doubt, but it's a dominating performance, and there you have it, Mental, the 18-year-old from St. Louis, raising the trophy high for the first time of hopefully many. Optic Gaming brings home the W. Congratulations again to the Green Wall Summons.